it's your boy, CG, it's me, and I'm back with some more heat. So before I even get started and dive into this topic, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, buy my Herbalife products, and buy a t-shirt. Link in the description. So um, I'm doing all about fitness, all about the body this week, talking about chicks, talking about this, that, and other. But y'all gonna realize, bro, is that life ain't all about chicks. I know that sounds crazy to y'all, and I know I might lose some, subscri lose some subscribers. But before you want to subscribe, sucker, <laughs> shout out BOA. Just know that life ain't all about that. So before I dive into this topic, that's just what I wanted to say. Now, when I was doing the interviews with Chris, when I was doing the interviews with YMDRP, they asked me really, really good questions. They said, how do women respond, which I talked about in my previous video talking about body game. How do women respond to a dude that's in shape, to a dude that's brolic? Now we're going to talk about how dudes respond and how people in general respond. So like I talked about, bro, first things first, I'm gonna kick it off like this, is that when you look like you take care of yourself, you're automatically gonna command respect. That's right off the rip. But at the same time, dudes are gonna be jealous, dudes are gonna hate, dudes are gonna do this, that, and the other. Dudes are gonna say you're on steroids. So I, my life hit a whole 180, bro, right? I was kind of pudgy about this time last year. I was fat, I had a shaggy ass beard, didn't take care of myself. My hair was all napped out more than it is now. It's actually not nappy. I actually do take really, really good hair care of my hair but i like that messy look you feel what i'm saying but anyway um back on topic and so dudes will throw accusations at you but it will be the dudes that are beta the dudes that are sitting in their crib the dudes that don't do anything with themselves the dudes that play xbox all day the dudes that play fortnite all day the dudes that sit there and get no chicks and just spank their meat all day you feel what i'm saying because them type of dudes don't know the grind so they get jealous when they see me posting up with the bad chicks with the fitness uh photo shoots they see me taking the uh the fitness videos that they see me doing the hype videos so they think i'm just out here flexing for the gram you feel what i'm saying they think i'm out here just going in the gym and throwing around weight just to go throw around weight but little do they know that that's only the tip of the iceberg bro people only see the tip of the iceberg people only see the result of hard work they don't see the other nine, 90 percent of the iceberg under the water they don't see the, 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 the injuries. They don't see the torn labrums. They don't see the, the stress fractures in your back. They don't see all the hard work. They don't see the early mornings, the late nights, the condition in the hill sprints. They only see the hype videos. They don't see me jump roping a thousand reps a day. They only see me clearing a five foot box jump. You feel what I'm saying? So they don't see the, the hard work that goes into it. So people will think that you're a dickhead, that you're superficial, that you're egotistic, just because you go out and you flex for the gram. But in my opinion, bro, if you got it, flaunt it. If you got a six pack and you got washboard abs, if you got it, flaunt it. If you worked for it, go out and flaunt it. That's just, that's the same, that's the reason, that's people that get mad at people that are bigger than them for posting photo shoots, for posting shirtless pictures, this, that, and the other. The people that get mad at that are the same people that get jealous of people that drive nice cars. If you worked for that nice car, damn right, drive it down the street and flex and pick up chicks and, and, and go to popular areas. I would if I had if I had a Lambo. You feel what I'm saying? Then people get mad and want you to keep the Lambo in the garage because they think you're going out here stunting. But really, you worked and you saved your money and you invested money and you flipped your money and now you got to buy the Lambo you always wanted. So I worked and got the body I always wanted. I mean, I'm not there yet. So why not go out and flaunt it? You feel what I'm saying? So the people that get mad at that, you poke at their insecurities. You feel what I'm saying? Because people that are in the gym, people that are working out, people that are taking care of themselves, that know the grind, they'll be the first ones to dap you up and say, hey, bro, congrats on that new PR. They'd be the first ones to dap you up, slide up on your stories and say, hey, hey bro, congrats. Let's get a lift in. They'd be the first ones to slide up on your stories and congratulate you because they don't have time to hate on you. And they know that it's hard bench pressing 330 pounds. They know that it's hard trying to squat 500 pounds. So they see the work that goes in and they know the work that goes in because they have to do the same maintenance on their body. They have to eat right. They have to drink a gallon of water a day. They have to take the supplements. They have to do the pre-workouts. They know all the shit that goes into it. They know the risk of injury. So when you see another big dude, you're automatically going to get respect from them. And the, the respect is going to be mutual just because they know the work that goes in. But somebody that's not in the gym, somebody that... Excuse me, somebody that sits there, beats their dick all day and wishes they could be you and wishes they could look like you because they look like a cross country runner. <laughs> they, they will be, they'll be the people to hate. You feel what I'm saying? Because they don't know the work that goes into it. They only see the, 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 the flashy pictures, the flashy hype videos. And given there may be a lot of people that do look big, that are brolic, that are working out as hard as I am, if not harder. You feel what I'm saying? But they might get mad at how flashy I am. They might get mad at the hype videos. They might get mad at whatever. And they may see me as competition because I'm going to get to that too. But 
they respect the grind. You feel what I'm saying? Even though they don't like the way I do things, they still respect the grind. You may not like Tom Brady, but you have to give him his credit when he has his seven rings. You feel what I'm saying? You have to give credit where credit is due. And you may not say it out front, but in the back of their minds, they'll know, damn, to look like that, bro, you got to put in the work. You got to eat right. You got to do maintenance. You got to recover. You got to do all that. So you'll get hated on, bro, and you'll get thrown shade by dudes that aren't in the gym and dudes that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like all the kids that hate on me for the most part aren't in the gym or not getting girls or not maximizing on their genetic potential or not get making money. You feel what I'm saying? So it's all kids that are below you, but they'll try to poke at you and throw the steroid accusations out, throw this and the other out because I don't know if they're jealous or you poke an insecurity or you push their buttons or they just don't like you because some people, bro, that's another thing, bro. Some people aren't going to like you and some people aren't going to like anything you stand for. Like I know there's a lot of people that hate me and there's a lot of people that hate everything I stand for, but it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not paying attention to them, but I got to come on here and educate y'all. You feel what I'm saying? So anyway, like I remember one time, bro, there was this kid, right? So I posted a picture of my pre-workout. And I said, dudes drink C4 because honestly, I think C4 is the worst pre pre workout you can drink. And muscle milk is the most trash protein you can buy, in my honest opinion, because I'm vegan and there's a lot of fillers and stuff in those pre workouts. And I just use a more intense pre workout because I think C4 is for beginners. But anyway, um, I'm not dissing you if you do use do use those brands. It's just a personal preference. But anyway, so I posted my pre workout on my Snapchat. Right, some kid calls me out, takes a screenshot of my story, reposts it, and says, "Oh, uh, uh, no one else can use this type of pre workout because I use it. Now I make it better, and it's better because I use it." You feel what I'm saying? Because he's coming at me, clowning me, um, and he's I know damn well he's not in the gym because he looks like shit. Let's be real, and um, he's screenshotting my story clowning me pretending to be me saying oh no one else can use this pre-workout because i use it and it's better and it's automatically better because i use it because he's trying to get at me by hinting that um whatever you feel what i'm saying hold on water check so you get hated on by the dudes that don't know what the fuck they're talking about that aren't in the gym and don't know the work that goes into it so anyway now that that's out the way let's talk the next topic is that the dudes that do look like you the dudes that do do the work they may see you as competition. And I pray it to God that none of my boys in the gym, that none of my buddies in the gym see me as competition because we all in there getting better together. Like at first, bro, I used to be in the gym, hoodie on, antisocial, angry as fuck, just in there, just working out, just getting my pump and giving it was a good workout. But I realized, bro, when you go in the gym, you have fun, you make friends with everybody, you go dap them up. Hey, bro, how you look like that? Hey, bro, what workouts could I do to get bigger biceps? What workouts could I do to get bigger shoulders? That's camaraderie, bro. And as men, that's what we need to start doing. We need to start exchanging ideas and not hating on each other and not being jealous of each other. And maybe slide up on some person's story and ask, hey, bro, how'd you do this? Hey, bro, can you put me on game? Hey, bro, how do you get big? What type of foods do you eat? What type of workouts do you do? Just exchange ideas because as men, that's what we love to do. So anyway, there's a lot of dudes that will see you as competition, right? So I was squatting one day. I think I hit like 525, right? And this dude came up to me and my boys too, Justin and Andres were there too. Shout out y'all, much love. Um, so this dude comes up to me, bro. He's big as hell. Looks like Broly, bro. Brolic as hell, right? He comes up to us and he says, oh, yo, uh, I just hit uh, 515 today. I doubt you could do that. Like he said some slick shit to me. You feel what I'm saying? And he says, oh, uh, uh, you got to do this, that, and the other. Like just trying to come at me, bro. Trying to poke at me. So I'm like, all right. And I know I love competition, you feel what I'm saying? I love competition. So this dude comes over to me, he big as hell, bro, like trying to big dick me. And he's like, hey, bro, uh, I just hit five, uh, 515 today. I doubt you could do that. I'm like, all right, we'll see. <laughs> I ripped 525 for two, bro, and I just bodied it. And then after I, bro, it was the best feeling because after I got done racking it, I turned around and just stared at him like that. <laughs> and he just was looking because he was shoulder pressing, right? So... I can tell that dude has something out for me, bro, because every time I'm in the gym, he'll come over to me and he'll try to do more weight than me. And this dude's like 56, he's like 50, 40 years old. You feel what I'm saying? He's competing with the night. I was 19 at the time. He's competing with the 19, 20 year old in a dick measuring contest. So there's going to be a lot of dudes out there that are going to see your gains and think of it as a dick measuring contest. When in reality, bro, comparing yourself to another man is and essentially the B word. So we should be working together. We should try to exchange ideas because a lot of dudes will see you as competition. You feel what I'm saying? Even some of the dudes on my team, they don't respect the grind. They just see me as competition. You feel what I'm saying? Given I am, I'm the new kid coming over here to take somebody's spot. But still, bro, we should be trying to exchange ideas because competition makes the world go round, bro. Competition makes everything better. You feel what I'm saying? So anyway, the message for this video, bro, is if there is someone bigger than you, better than you, putting up more numbers than you, stronger than you, Ask them, bro. Reach out. Extend the olive branch, bro. 
Don't hate, bro. There's a kid, right, who's a bodybuilder, and he's big, and I have mad respect for the kid. He went to my high school, bro. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Big as hell, bro. He's like 5'6", like 225. He won mad bodybuilding competition, and I can tell he don't like me. You feel what I'm saying? But he's huge, bro. So whenever I see him, I try to dap him up. I try to take pictures with him. Now, I'm not dick sucking him, bro, in any way, shape, or form. But I just and uh, he he sees all my. He's like a ghost follower on my Instagram too. He sees my posts, never likes them. Not that I care. You feel what I'm saying? But it's just like, damn, bro. I comment on all your shit. I like all your shit. I hype you up, and you can't even do the same for me. But that's just the type of person I am. I like showing love to dudes because I see the work that goes into it. So he may he may not like me. He might not not like my unorthodox way of doing things he might not like how much shit i talk but he knows the grind and he sees the grind and i know damn well he sees it you feel what i'm saying because we in the gym together but so he may not like me and he may view me as competition but i'm not going to be that dude to do that back to him i'll not stand on a moral soapbox but i'll be the better man in that situation and i'll go out and 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 extend the olive branch and keep commenting on his stuff keep hyping him up because i know how much work how much heart how much blood sweat and tears goes in the um to working out, especially the bodybuilding, bro, because it's all mental. So that's so much respect. Because me, I can go out and I can have a fucking chocolate chip cookie if I want to. He can't. You feel what I'm saying? I'm an athlete. He's a bodybuilder. Bodybuilder is a whole different level because it's all mental. You feel what I'm saying? So the message for this video, bro, is don't pay attention to them dudes and don't see any other man as competition. I pray that none of y'all subscribers do that. You feel what I'm saying? Because we need to come together, start changing ideas, and don't pay attention to all the BS, bro, because a lot of dudes are going to react positive and a lot of dudes are going to react negative. So next, bro, I want to talk about more positive reactions. Is Let's think about it like this, bro. In The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. It's a really, really good book. I hope y'all have read it. And um, it talks about how dudes like first impression bro like back in like the primal days like a first impression was everything and a first impression still is everything today so if i'm in the gym right let's say i had bi bad body language i'm slunched over like this and i just look like like a cross-country runner i look like i could get bullied easy <laughs> you feel what i'm saying i look like i could get snapped broken half um now I'm, I'm on a machine right i get up to go get a water to go to the water fountain some dude comes over and big dicks me and takes my spot and I'm not going to say anything to him because he's bigger than me. You feel what I'm saying? So deep down, he's going to know that he can just fuck with you subconsciously, bro. He's not going to be thinking it consciously, but subconsciously, he'll know that if an altercation comes off or over that spot, he can whoop your ass. But if you bigger, bro, he'll, you automatically command respect. So I may go get a drink at the water fountain and come back and dude will come over to me and be like, Hey bro. Uh, Hey playboy, are you done with that machine yet? Can I use it? Because when you built like that, you command respect from other dudes. You feel what I'm saying? You command respect from people when you walk into a room. I went to a party, right? And um, I was the only, I was like the only kid of color there. You feel what I'm saying? Not that that's a problem for me in any way, shape, or form, because my friend group is very, very diverse, and I'm friends with more white, even amount white kids than I am black kids. You feel what I'm saying? That's just what it is. That's just where I'm from. That's just what it is, and they're all mad cool. But I was in a new area, bro. All different types of kids. And I was in a more preppy, privileged area. So I really thought they wouldn't mess with me. But anyway, because I'm bigger, because whatever. These dudes came over to me feeling my biceps all drunk and shit. Hey, bro, how you do that? Hey, bro, you look good. Hey, bro, you play a sport. Hey, bro, you look like an athlete. I think being uh, you look like an athlete is one of the best compliments you can get, in my honest opinion. But anyway, these dudes came over to me, random ass kids that I didn't even know. Come over to me feeling on my biceps. Hey, bro, you look good. And then the dude had a tight flannel on. And I'm like, hey, bro, you look good too. I said, most flannels be baggy as hell, but you make it you make it rock. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's the type of camaraderie because he sees the work that goes into it. You feel what I'm saying? He sees the work. He knows I look good. He knows I take care of myself. He knows I'm in the gym. And I can tell the same for him. You feel what I'm saying? So that's a mutual respect, an unsaid respect you're already going to have. Even if he didn't say anything to me. It's like, all right, this dude looks good. You feel what I'm saying? He looks like he takes care of himself. He looks like another alpha in the room. You feel what I'm saying? So I hope that broke it down for y'all, bro. And just treat dudes with mutual respect. You feel what I'm saying? Anyway, that's all I got for y'all today. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Buy my Herbalife products and buy a t-shirt. Link in the description. Peace out, y'all. Salute. CG signing out, man. <laughs>